Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy. This is going to be a wig comparison video, so if you're not into wigs, then this video is probably not for you. But if you are into wigs, then do please stay tuned. So I have two wigs here that are so similar. I really have to look at which one has fringe and which one doesn't to be able to tell them apart. So I thought I would do a comparison video. These opinions are my opinions. I am not being paid for these opinions. And the hair that I have is the hair that I have. When you order from the same companies, I don't know what type of hair you will get. But I am very satisfied with both of the companies. And this one is the 300% density lace front wig from DY Hair 777 in the loose wave texture. This hair is so soft. And you get minimal shedding. You get about three inches of parting space on the side, and if you were to part it in the middle, you'd probably get about four inches. The cap is durably made. I uh, have had holes to come into one of my human hair wigs in the cap, but in this cap, everything is still like it was when I purchased it and secure. No warm spots, no anything. The density of this wig is a thicker density, but I like big hair, and I love the texture of the loose wave. Very, very pretty indeed. This is a 22-inch long uh, human hair wig. It's Brazilian hair, and it is in the natural color, being as it has not been dyed or colored in any way. Now... This wig is so similar. I got this from Coming By. And this is their body wave. This wig was supposed to be 22 inches long, but I ended up with 25 inches in the longest area of the wig. This wig is 25 inches long. But I had had some trouble with a previous wig that I had purchased from them. Thus, the reason most likely that I ended up with a few extra inches. Um, this wig is in the natural color. It also is Brazilian. It has not been color treated at all. It is just like it was when it came off the donor's head. Um... Now, I did put fringe on this particular one, and I'm telling you that is the only way that I can tell these two wigs apart. And the one from DY Hair 777, the wave in it is a little bit more together instead of the waves being spread out as on the coming by wig. Now, I'm going to show you how similar they do look. I am very, very happy with both wigs. Um, there is minimal shedding on each one. There is not a lot of tangling on neither one either unless you curl it with an iron or a flat iron, then it tends to get a few little uh, tangled spots in it. But I really like wearing this hair curled uh, in big barrel curls. Um, it, they just, uh, they look awesome like that. And these two wigs both hold a curl the same way. Um, you curl the hair and it stays curled pretty much till the next day. Um, the ends of both wigs look very healthy. There are no split ends. And I've had um, 
each wig for about three months now. I got one right before I got the other, only about a month in between when I got them. So they both, you know, I've had them for quite a while to know um, how they behave. Now, the cap construction on the coming by wig is pretty much the same as the construction on the DY Hair 777 wig. The cap is still intact. We have no tears, no worn spots, no anything. These two wigs are still going strong, but one of the reasons why I think that they are is because I only use silicone mix on my wigs. When I found that product, I was sold. I loved it because of the way that it left the hair not weighed down, very, very soft like satin. And it seemed to uh, prevent some of the shedding because less tangles means less snatching of the hair, which means less shedding. So all I use on my wigs is silicone mix. And uh, in a comparison from the very first human hair wig that I got, these wigs are lasting me twice as long thus far. So it does prolong the life of your wig as well. It's silicon, S-I-L-I-C-O-N mix, M-I-X. Get you some. It does have kind of a strange smell to it, but hey. When you see what it does to your hair, you won't care anything about the smell. So that is my comparison video. Um, the lace on these uh, wigs is the same. I think I've got, no, that's not a hole. It's just a spot. Okay. I was going to freak out if I had a hole in my lace, but I don't. It's just where it was hanging on that chair. The uh, lace is the same. The construction is the same. And as I told you, unless I, if I had not have put the fringe in the coming by wig and I, uh, you know, didn't do it to the uh, DY Hair 777 wig, I, it would be hard for me to tell them apart, except the DY77 hair is a little more wavy than the coming by hair. So that's my comparison video. I am very happy with both wigs. I love them both. Everybody be safe, be kind to one another, and I will see you again in my next upload. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a wonderful afternoon.